Chicago's famed chef. Art Smith is helping Oprah Winfrey celebrate her 70th birthday. He and Oprah have been friends for decades and he once served as her private chef. And now you can enjoy one of Oprah's favorite cakes by ordering online or going into one of Art Smith's restaurants all across the country. Chef Art Smith joining us now to tell us why this hummingbird cake is one of the most requested on restaurant menus. Thanks it, for it's coming in. totally as requested. Right? We, Everybody we, wants it. I don't know what's more popular, hummingbird cake or fried chicken, okay. but we are very popular. It's been the cake for course it's this so you know in the oprah um yeah people you guys edition. are in people magazine it's, it's, in the, it's in the magazine you can read about it mm -hmm. and stuff and it's official birthday cake it was um, barack obama's birthday cake it was wow. it first premiered as dr maya angelou's 75th birthday cake oh, and, okay but simple you okay. know okay it's got a lot of names but it's got a lot of love well first of all tell everybody what is a hummingbird cake hummingbird cake it? is a mm -hmm. cake that i they say the roots come back come from jamaica mm -hmm. um and what it is it's just flour and sugar okay and we use baking powder mm -hmm. okay and we use a little salt a little just a little bit of cinnamon gets a nice little kick to it and then we're going to add our our liquids all together in this bowl we have bananas wow. canned pineapple oh, gosh, we have oil goodness. and we have eggs now we're going to add that in there oh, now you can get the recipe online if you go you'll mm -hmm. see it i don't know what second i, 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 I need to it. take the spoon away from yourself no 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 go and, for uh, it and you know what's funny is he always shares this recipe because i have the one cookbook of yours that has the recipe in there but you said something that's so true art and that's what People don't want to make it. They People just don't want to make it. it. They want to buy it. <laughs> they so want to buy it. if you go to reunion.com mm -hmm. or you go to even to chefartsmith.com, mm -hmm. you can order it right online and we'll get it I for you. I can get the whole cake. You get the whole now, cake. Now, if I just want a slice, I can go to your restaurant. You can reunion. just yes, you can just order it on Uber Eats uh -huh. and we'll get we'll give it to you. You know, Uber Eats but, will do it too. Uh, Uber Eats has it. Okay. Yes, exactly. And, and then uh, what's the icing? Is this it? is that's cream cheese okay. icing. That's butter and cream butter and cream cheese. What else would you want in it, oh, right? Oh my and gosh, sugar. Perfect. So you put the two together. You see how simple that is. So moist. Look at that. Okay. Right. Now, it, Look at that. It reminds you, so those who bake, it reminds you a lot mm -hmm. of like, okay, I hate that bowl. Just put that somewhere. Just hide it. <laughs> it reminds you a lot of like carrot cake. Yes, that's it, what I was just right. saying. A you spiced? probably, if you just replace the mm -hmm. fruit with carrots. Mm -hmm. But what makes it delicious? I just did this article for Southern Living at Magazine saying there's no shame in using can. Every hummingbird cake I've ever made in my life in every yeah. restaurant it's made with canned crushed pineapple. Okay. That makes life easier and too. And so you just mix the two together. Now mix mm -hmm. them well. But don't overmix it because, and remember that if you overmix it, it's going to be a little flat. And then you just get your pans prepared, mm -hmm. and this makes um, two layers. Now we'll just kind of mix it all good together. I love like that. Okay. That's where all the moistness comes right, out. Right, and so. that's it. And then what I'm going to do is this. Mm -hmm. You frost for me. You, you tell me what kind of time we got going on here. Yeah. So about to okay, speed up here. Okay, while you frost, though, let's talk about that. You have an exciting announcement to make, too, right? Well, yeah. Can you tell us? Which, which, which one do you want to well, talk about? Well, you've got so much. I'm talking okay, about we right. can now we see you logic. on TV. Exactly. Well, you'll right? be able to make sure you tune in on Top Chef on the 20th of, um, of, of March, and you will watch um, the new Top Chef, which is, was filmed in Milwaukee, and you'll also see yours truly judging. Yay. That's and so, exciting. <laughs> and if you are looking for somewhere to go on Valentine's Day, you guys have specials going yeah, on. Yeah, we have a wonderful special. Reunion. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then you can, you can, you can, you can, you, I'll let you read while I yes. Okay, so Valentine's like Day, <laughs> it's a dinner for two for $55. Look what you get. You get gumbo, cornbread, fried chicken. Oh my gosh, his fried chicken is the best. Or you can have steak, chocolate cake for two with champagne, and um, which sounds like a great deal. And then a Valentine's Day, $40 per person, charcuterie board with bottomless Chardonnay. That sounds like a great yeah, time. Yeah, it is. And I think that people will really enjoy it. We've had the most incredible reaction to, to the, um, the, uh, the restaurant week. Um, interestingly enough, you want to spend our most popular what brunch? Oh, you know because I love people, your brunch. people love brunch. Yeah. Well, I think we do do a nice brunch. I think you do a great brunch. And, the fried chicken, you guys, is insane. And I got to ask you before we go too. What? Um, how did you get involved at becoming Oprah chef? People always ask because well, that's really where everybody kind of got to know who you were. Well, the, the, keep in mind, and people need to know this too, is that when you have people of that kind of caliber, mm -hmm. they have people of other kind of caliber around them. <laughs> well, how did I do it? The hairdresser. Yeah. The, <laughs> the hairdresser, hairdresser. Andrew, oh. uh, Andre, you, know, you know, Andre Walker yes. introduced us. Okay. And um, he introduced us, and that's and all it's and all. The rest is history. Yes. And here he is right now. He is actually putting a little of that yummy cream cheese on top of this cake yep. for us. Um, once again, 
If you want to celebrate Valentine's Day, you can do it at Reunion Navy Pier. Great restaurant. Art, this recipe is available too. You can go on his yeah, website. Yeah, sure can. And uh, you can make it at home if you want, or you can do what I do. Don't make it. Just go to Reunion Navy Pier. And then Pier. you just kind of, if you, if you even notice in the People Magazine article, well, I like them pretty rustic. You know, yeah. you know because it, then it looks like you made it, because it's too perfect. They won't believe you. Yeah, I love and it. And then you can just play with it. And then when you do it, you perfect. can get some pretty little flowers. You can oh, put a little flowers you. on it, and boom, you got a cake. Awesome. We still not finished icing, but you don't see that, do you? No, okay. that's perfect, Art. Thank you so much, Mike Smith. There's all the information on your screen. Exactly. It's 12.50. We'll be right back. Thank you.